in the previous session we have solved the first question now let us try to solve the second question it says if we have the function which is f is equal to a plus b dot ac plus b plus c complement d we have to reduce this expression so let us try to open this bracket so we'll get a plus b ac plus bd plus c complement d right so again try to open the brackets a plus abc plus b dot bd plus b dot c complement d now you can take a as common between these two so we'll get a 1 plus bc plus bd plus bc complement d right so here this expression will become 1 so it is a plus bd plus bc complement d again between these two expressions you can take bd as common so it will be a plus bd 1 plus c complement which can be done as a plus bd right so this above function can be minimized to a plus bd now let us try to solve the next question here so it is the function is a plus bc whole complement whole complement dot a b complement plus a b c right so let us apply de morgan's law here so it will be a complement dot bc complement complement dot a b complement plus a b c so it can be done as a complement dot b c and here you can say we can take a as common so it will be b complement plus b c it is a complement dot b c it is a you can distribute b over here so b will be uh, b complement plus b dot b complement plus c so this can be written as 1 so this expression can be written as a complement dot bc a dot b complement plus c now you can open these brackets so it can be written as a complement dot a dot bc b complement plus c right so you can see here it, we have a complement dot a so as you can see as you know we can associate the bracket so it can also be written as a complement dot a dot bc dot b complement plus c and this can be written as 0 so it is 0 dot bc b complement plus c and which makes the whole expression as 0 right so this complete expression can be minimized to 0 in this case ok now let us take the next question so next question is the function is f is equal to b plus bc dot b plus b complement c dot b plus d right so first of all let us try to take b as common between these two so you will get 1 plus c dot you can distribute b over here so it is b plus b complement dot b plus c here we have b plus d so this can be written as this is 1 plus c which is equal to 1 so it is b dot this can be written as 1 b plus c dot b plus d fine so it can be written as b dot b plus b c b plus d further it can be written as b dot b dot b plus b dot b dot d plus b dot b dot c plus b dot c dot d so this is only b this is b d this is b c this is b c and d so here we have b plus b d plus b c plus b c d you can take b as common between all of them so it is b dot 1 plus d plus c plus c d so as you can take c here we have 1 as or or one is or between these terms so it is b dot 1 which is equal to b itself so this whole expression can be minimized to b so next question is show that if we have a b we have to show that if we have a b plus 
a b complement c plus b c complement it is equal to a c plus b c complement right so we have to show this left hand side is equal to this right hand side okay so you can even say so it is take the left left hand side first so it is a b plus a b complement c plus b c complement right and here we have ac plus bc complement let us try to take a as common between these two so it will be b plus b complement c plus bc complement distribute b over here so it is a which is b plus b complement dot b plus c plus bc complement and this is equal to 1 so it is a 1 dot b plus c plus bc complement which is equal to ab plus ac plus bc complement which is ab plus ac plus bc complement right now you can take for this expression you can take a b c plus c complement plus ac plus bc complement so it can be written as abc plus abc complement plus ac plus bc complement between these two expressions you can take bc as common between these two expressions you can take ac as common so this expression can be written like this also so it is ab as take ab as common between this and uh, take ac as common between this and this so it will be if you take ac as common so it can be written as b plus 1 plus if you take bc complement as common so it can be written as a plus 1 further this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 1 so it can be written as ac plus bc complement right so has left hand side is equal to right hand side so we have proved that this expression this expressions both are actually equivalent to each other now let us take the next question the next question says show that a b complement c plus b plus b d complement Plus a b d complement plus a complement c is equal to b c, right? So we have this left hand side, which is equal to a b complement c plus b plus b d complement plus a b d complement plus a complement c, right? So we have to prove that this left hand side is equal to b plus c, right? so here you can see already have b we have to remove uh, we have to eliminate all these expressions to get c so you can just write b in the beginning so plus you can say we have a b complement c plus b d complement plus a b d complement plus a complement c in this expression you can take b d complement as common between these two so it can be written as a b complement c plus take b d complement as common so it is 1 plus a plus a complement c and this is equal to 1 itself so it can be written as b plus a b complement c plus b d complement plus a complement c take c as common between these two so it can be written as a b complement plus a complement dot c plus b d complement so which is b plus distribute a over this so it is a plus a complement dot b complement plus a complement dot c plus b d complement and this is equal to 1 so it is b plus uh, a complement c plus b complement c plus b d complement now take b as common between these two so you can take 1 plus d complement plus a complement c plus b c b c so which is equal to 1 so it is b plus a complement c plus b complement c now in this expression you are not having b so you can uh, take b or you can just do one thing it's very simple distribute b over this so we can say we'll get b Plus b complement dot 
v plus c plus a complement c. We have just distributed b over this, so we'll get this is equal to one. So it is b plus c plus a complement c. So we can take c as common between these two. So it is b plus c one plus a complement, which is equal to b plus c itself, right? So we have c. We have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side. This complete expression is equal to b plus c.